All right, now it's time to uh, take a step back and then just review whatever we did in this uh, whole, uh, you know, site creation. So we started this entire um, entire journey, right, uh, by, by, by picking up a business use case, right, because we wanted to create a knowledge portal for uh, travel head company users, isn't it? So uh, we first wanted to publish, uh, you know, FAQs across various categories, isn't it? So that the, the, the context can come and then take a look at some of the common problems or issues, right, uh, without being contacted, uh, uh, you know, by the support team. <clears throat> also, there should be a way to create a case uh, ticket to the, you know, to the, to the team so that, you know, any issues that uh, could not be addressed, uh, you know, through the FAQs on the portal can be addressed by directly talking to the, by, by working with the customer support team, right? So we picked up this use case and then we did use uh, some of the key features in Experience Cloud, correct? And then without writing a single line of code, we managed to build, you know, we managed to build the entire site, right? So these are the these are the key features that we used even though there are a lot more features available in experience cloud we did use key features and then created you know a site from the scratch isn't it so of course we did enable digital experience we did create a site from the predefined template correct and then we used the site builder to further fine tune the look and feel of the site right we changed the banner, we used, uh, you know, different colors, etc, etc. And then we managed content, right, that needs to be put up on the site, correct, for which we used knowledge uh, object, isn't it? And then we organized knowledge object uh, using data categories through which we also, you know, uh, we, were, we were also able to set the visibility, isn't it? And then back in the experience cloud, you know, uh, the articles or knowledge uh, is organized uh, using topics, isn't it? So we have to map data categories and topics and then we manage to bring all the knowledge articles back to the portal. And then we configured case management only for authenticated users, right? So we have two set of users, authenticated and guest users, and we enable the portal as public so that the guest users can also, you know, have a look at the uh, FAQs being put up on the site, correct? And finally, we used audience feature in Experience Cloud to show, uh, you know, to show an ID, correct? To show an ID uh, components uh, based on the, the user profile, isn't it? So all these good features of Experience Cloud we did use to build the site from the scratch. I hope uh, this entire uh, live project uh, will help you to get started with uh, Salesforce Experience Cloud, right? You can further explore additional features available in Experience Cloud, but this would be a good starting point for you to get started. Thank you.